Hi there, BIM fans. This is the BIM Daily Dose for May 11th with me, Christina. Both Ashley and Yana are off sick, so I'm going to be holding down the Ford Solar for today. Oh, no, you're not. Christina is here to save the day. Oh, that's very nice of you. Um, me? In, th in that case, uh, Christina, what's going on today? Well, Christina, first I look what Guinness World Records reckons are the top 50 gaming franchises of all time. Then Nintendo gets ready to party lights 2010. And we finish off with a look at the bank balances of some of the gaming's biggest names. If ever there was a story to get gamers arguing, this is it. The Guinness World Record Gamers Edition has just named its top 50 gaming franchises of all time. But it's not based on sound stats or anything measurable, instead they're based it on votes from their readers. Here's the top 10. At 10, it's Grand Theft Auto, followed by Super Smash Bros, Gears of War, World of Warcraft and Super Mario Bros. Number 5 is Metal Gear and number 4 it's Guitar Hero. Third place went to Legend of Zelda, second to Call of Duty and the cover the first place? It's Master Chief, the Spartans and the rest of the Halo gang. Check out www.pimp.tv or click the link below in the YouTube description for the full 50. And don't forget to tell us what you think. While you might not have the best shooters or RPGs going around, one thing that we're definitely good for is party games. And it's about to get even better because Nintendo has just announced they are working on a new marquee party game, Wii Party. Right now we know there will be games like Bingo and Roulette as well as one where you have to balance the little mini-me's on a big ship. There will also be a game called Living Party with unique gameplay only available with the Wii mode. That's all for now but we bring you more when we have it. Party on Wayne! It's that time of the year again when gaming big boys opened up their books and let the shareholders take a peek at their finances. On the positive side, Activision Blizzard announced a huge profit for Q1, far better than expected, at $381 million. But other than AB, almost everyone else was in negative territory. THQ lost $9 million for the year, but that's a damn sight better than the $430 million they've lost the year before. Namco Bandai lost $316 million and Capcom's profits were down 71% against last year. Even Nintendo was down on last year for the first time since the DS came out. But they don't have too much to worry about. They still ranked in a net profit of over 2.4 billion US for the year ending March 2010. And that's your BIM Daily Dose for May 11th. Hope you enjoy it. Hey Christina, have you seen um, Time Cop? You know, Jean-Claude Van Damme where Mata can't occupy same mm, Yeah, why? <gasps>